Located in southwestern Kenya along the shores of Lake Victoria, Homo Bay County borders Kisumu and Sia counties to the north, Kisi and Nyamira counties to the east, Migori County to the south, and Lake Victoria and the Republic of Uganda to the west. It has a population of 1,038,858. Of this, 498,472 are male, while the female population is 540,386. The region is home to the renowned trade unionist, educationist and pan-Africanist Thomas Joseph Mboya. The county's development has been severely hampered under the previous regimes, but with the onset of devolution, the county is slowly moving away from its infamous title, that of a closed and marginalized county, and is looking ahead to transform lives through sustainable development. The County Assembly of Homo Bay derives its existence and roles from Articles 191 and 192 and in the fourth schedule of the Constitution of Kenya and the County Government Act of 2012. County Assemblies in Kenya are 47 and Homo Bay County is one of them. Uh, this uh, is a new constitutional dispensation that has been ushered in by the enactment of the, uh, the 2010 Constitution of Kenya. and Article 176, the legislative arm of the county government or the county governments in Kenya is the county assembly, county assemblies. So um, this has been, this has never been before. Uh, it came as a result of uh, our new constitution. So it's a new way of representing people at the county level, at the local level. That is uh, the devolution of power. That's where we find ourselves. And uh, it is the first county assembly in Kenya. So we have been for the last three and a half years. In terms of the function of the county assemblies, and in Omabi in particular, Section 9 of the County Governments Act outlines our functions and Article 85 of the Constitution. First and foremost, our function is to vet and approve nominees by the executive for certain state office appointments, state officers' appointments. We, the governor nominates them, brings them to the assembly, we do vetting, we do public hearing, and involve the public in terms of their vetting and we approve for the appointment. Number two, we have the legislative function, oversight and the representation that is governed by Article 185. It is the legislative arm of the Homo Bay County Government. It is located in Homo Bay Town next to the administrative police base and opposite the Homo Bay Governor's Office. When the first Homo Bay County Assembly was constituted, following the introduction of devolution in Kenya, the men and women tasked with the legislation role, oversight and representation in this great county were well aware of the huge task they were getting into. It is not questionable to say that the Assembly is the best in the region and derives pride from its operations. The Speaker, being an advocate of the High Court, has brought a wealth of experience to the whole institution. Now, as a speaker, I, my roles are very many. Uh, first uh, and foremost, um, I do political and uh, administrative functions on the assembly. In other words, the speaker is the political head and administrative head of the assembly. The speaker presides over the plenary of the assembly, that is the debating chamber. The speaker chairs what we call the County Assembly Service Board. The speaker approves bills, motions, reports, members traveling up abroad, members traveling from uh, in, uh, any part of the country, approves any committee that would want to sit outside the premises of the assembly. The speaker also chairs certain committees. Um, and the speaker is the official spokesmanship of the assembly. Anything that needs to 
go out the function of the speaker. Speaker but also perform ceremonial functions of the county government, like uh, swearing some officers, some state, uh, some state officers, like the county public service board chair, the speaker presides over. The assembly comprises of 40 elected members and 23 who are nominated to represent special interest groups under the leadership of the speaker. It also constitutes professional staff who serve under the guidance of the clerk to the assembly. Their job is clearly cut and is to ensure that the House discharges its constitutional mandate as per the expectations of the electorate. One of the immediate tasks include setting up of firm foundational systems and structures of the new county assembly. In um, county governments and particularly county assemblies, we have the speaker at the top, we have the deputy speaker, we have the leader of majority who doubles as the vice chair of county assembly service board. We have the whips, both from minority and uh, majority parties. And then we have the clerk and his team. So under clerk, we have deputy clerk and then the directorate at that level, which involves so many directors, uh, which can also be said to be HODs, but uh, in the new transformation, we call them directors. Um, they manage the clerk's department would be dealing with administrative functions of the assembly. Political functions are done by the speaker and the two leaders, the minority and the majority, who are also members of the county assembly service board. Basically, my role is uh, to come to check the government, also in the project we are doing. You know, when it is one party and there's nobody who is checking the government, we can do something which is for the community or the electorate. So my work is to come to check what they are doing. And also, I also help the Sunday squad. We have parties in this assembly. So my another role is also in the service squad, is to help the minority parties in the service squad. I'm the county assembly clerk, the hour I'm the chief officer of the assembly. I'm the principal advisor to the speaker and the members of the county assembly on rules, uh, practices and procedures of the assembly. I'm the chief accounting officer of the county assembly. I'm the administrating uh, I do administer oath of affirmation and allegiance to members, uh, keep and circulate the minutes of the proceedings of the assembly. I prepare and circulate the daily agenda, that's the order paper of the assembly and any other documents of the house. Uh, I also produce production of the official report of all speeches uh, in the assembly. I'm the accounting officer. Accounting officer, that means that I'm in charge of all the resources. That is money, how it's being used. I'm the last approver. It's supposed to be spent. It's spent wise, uh, prudently in the assembly. The assembly has put in place a county assembly service board whose role is to formulate and supervise operational policies that guide the House in the discharge of its overall mandate. The service board is the managing body of the Assembly, which is uh, in the Act, which was formed in the, act, uh, in the Constitution, to manage both, assembly, both members and the staff. It is the decision organ of the Assembly in terms of the resources, in both the both economy and personnel, in terms of the rules expected in the assembly, in terms of rules expected in the house, in terms of the calendars of the assembly, uh, and in terms of the quality of employees the assembly might require.
The assembly inherited assets and staff from the defunct Homo Bay local authorities and these had to be aligned to fit the new county assembly structure. We have achieved a lot, even uh, where we are sitting. We did not have uh, many offices in this assembly. In fact, we came up with the uh, offices, our staffs, and if you check even our staffs, we, we took staffs who are experienced, who they have no how what they are doing, and uh, even the assembly itself, assembly has been approved, and uh, even people are coming from this assembly rather than going to Nairobi. Uh, Homer Bay is one of the best uh, assemblies in terms of infrastructure or facility. If you look at our plenary, uh, just less than 20 county assemblies in Kenya have that kind of facility. They can be counted. In fact, um, I think in the Luo Nyanza counties, Homabi is the best in terms of plenary. When we came here, there were no offices. There were no chamber, debating chamber. Then there, there was no electricity. There was no water. The landscaping was totally in a mess. So I think we have seen we have improved the offices. Almost all staff has got the offices. We have improved the, the working environment in totality. There is wood space, there are wood furniture, there is light, there is water, uh, there is a place for parking for staff can park uh, their vehicles. Members can park their vehicle. We have improved the chamber hall to the best standard we can, we can compare with the National Assembly. If you check the technology, we have integrated our system with the ICT, the modern one. All our systems, communication are computerized. We are networked. Uh, we have uh, the CCTVs. We have the telephones, the internal telephones. We have the, the answer we have improved. We have we have bought for them the best equipment which they can use in the chamber. We have done proper landscaping for grass and everything. We employed in fact here we found 28 employees who are not qualified. Who are, they were very few, but we we have employed almost. Now we are having a population of 72 employees who are qualified. All the, are having a minimum grade of a degree. Through the speaker, the assembly also works to ensure that the house is fully autonomous to enable it to discharge its duties independently, which includes financial independence. Through continuous capacity building, the Assembly has been able to implement the legislative duties through progressive motions and bills that have been passed into law. Members are today equipped to conceptualize issues such as the budget process in a robust manner. Homo Bay County Assembly was the first county assembly in Kenya to have passed the Education Fund Bill, among many other bills. This is a move that has received accolades and ensures the funding of young educationists in the county. Uh, Homer Bay is proud to have passed uh, Homer Bay County Education Fund Bill, which is now an act of county assembly. We have passed a Homer Bay County Trade Fund Act. We have, uh, we have um, enacted Homer Bay County Emergency Fund Act. These, th these are what we call um, acts dealing with funds. Uh, they are money bills, they are money funds, so they, they, they would impact greatly on the lives of Homer Bay because the first one, the Education Bursary Fund, is intended to benefit students, needy students from poor backgrounds at all, both secondary, tertiary and university level. Then we have Trade Fund, which is uh, funding small traders in Homer Bay. It has created a fund where the small traders will go and apply for uh, some funds to boost their trade or to empower them. And then Homer Bay Emergency Fund is geared towards uh, 
taking situations of emergent situations that normally come as a result of both natural and human uh, disasters. So that fund is very well to get us for these eventualities that normally come as a result of natural disasters. Oma Bay County Assembly has the intention to legislate on very bills that bring adequate and sufficient environment for development. We want to shorten procedures of doing business in Oma Bay by investors. We want to bring enabling our bills to investors and traders and our people. We don't want to have very autocratic legislative uh, bills that would deter development. Our intention is to ensure that um, the Oma Bay County government has bills and laws and policies and development activities that uh, would entice developers, development partners and, and potential developers to come and invest in Oma Bay County. That is our intention. Since its inception, the Assembly has also led by example by engaging in public outreach and engagement before making decisions or passing laws affecting the local residents. This tendency to prioritize public participation in the county is a virtue uniquely vested in Homer Bay County Assembly members in enhancing representation. We have a very elaborate legal procedure. Uh, first, the Constitution of Kenya 2010 recognizes the, the participation of the public. Before a decision is made, you have to involve the public. Equally, when you do a bill, you have to involve the public. Our procedure, which I've adopted in Omobi for the last three years, is that the executive, when the, if it is a bill, I mean sponsored by the government, they have to do public participation first and get the views of the public. Once it is submitted to us, I commit it to a relevant sector committee, we gazette it in the Kenya Gazette, and then we subject it to further public participation so that we involve the public in originating and uh, putting their views over this bill. You cannot pass a bill in Kenya now without public participation. So all these acts of County Assembly or Wambay that we have enacted have gone through public, very intense, intensive public participation. We do it at both um, uh, at the assembly, the committee level, during plenary, which is public, because our committee functions are to be done, committee proceedings are to be done in open. And we do public participation at sub-county level in the eight sub-counties of Omari. If a member of the public is not satisfied with what is being done by the executive, there's open door policy. They can write petitions. In fact, we have had almost, uh, almost six petitions <laughs> from the members of the public who are not comfortable of what was happening. And we have had them, and some have been accepted, and some the government has accepted to do. So there is uh, an open policy for any person who is not satisfied to complain through the assembly. The assembly they can complain directly to the clerk, they can write all their complaints through the email, and then forward to the speaker as a petition. Members of the County Assembly have also prioritized their representation role, always ensuring the concerns and aspirations of their constituents get preference on the floor of the House. They are representative of the public. If the public think that what is being executed is wrong or is not done according to the CIDP or according to the procurement or according to the plan, they raise it with my members to go and look at them and say no in a report. We say no to the way this thing is being done, it's not being done according to the law, it's not being done according to the financial procedures, according to the tender procedures, procurement procedures, according to the wishes of the people. Because before you come up with a project, that project must have been decided by the public. So the public want to see that it is done according to what On its oversight role, 
The Assembly continues to discharge its duty efficiently and impartially while maintaining a cordial relationship with the Executive. This has allowed the county government to implement its development agenda with ease. Um, uh, Assembly is being um, legislative arms of the county government in Kenya. We are only concerned with oversight. Um, we don't participate in the development activities uh, done by the county government. We only do oversight. We approve plans and policies of the government. Any development plan or policy has to be approved by the county assembly. We approve budget and the expenditure of the county assembly, county government. Uh, we approve borrowing the county governments. County governments are mandated to go to borrow. But before they borrow, we have to approve. Finally, we approve development plans of government, of county government. Without us, those development activities cannot take place unless we approve them. So what happens is that the executive does what we call CADP and brings to us, we take to the public participation and finally we approve. County governments have done a lot in terms of roads. We have roads that have been opened, like Homer Bay County Assembly. We had a budget for the 40 wards to approve to, 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 to open 12 kilometer road in every 40 wards. And these roads have never, never been opened since independence. So they are new roads. We have roads that are now all weather, courtesy of county governments. We have, we have never had education bursary. Our students, needy students are now enjoying. We are soon having Tomboya, Tomboya University College, which was um, just two days ago handed over to, to, to Maseno University to be a constituent college that has never been before. Uh, Oma Bay Town is almost becoming a 24 market economy because we have street light, solar street light that has never been before. Our streets in Oma Bay are now having solar lights. Oyugis and other small trading centers have that. Um, this has never been before. So for the last over 50 years, the national government has not been able to fund street lighting in Oma Bay County towns and market centers. We have water projects that are going on. We have water activities. Um, fisheries, recently, they are, they, in terms of uh, agriculture, the county government um, funded so many poultry activities. We have hatching, hatchery equipment that have been given to both youth and women groups in Oma Bay County. Uh, we have um, uh, small traders have been provided with some machines and that has impacted greatly. We, in, in collaboration with the Oma Bay County Women MP, Honorable Gladys Wanga, county government of Bay has funded Homer Bay Women Circle, that has never been there before. Our small traders were women are now borrowing money to improve their trading activities, that has never been before. We have built uh, CD centers in two in every ward. We have employed over 1,400 ECD teachers, that has never been before. In fact, the first in the history of Kenya, Oma Bay County residents have now employed, well remunerated by the government, the so-called ECB teachers. Prior to that, they were being paid some little remuneration by the community surrounding the primary schools. So we are promoting primary, I mean nursery, education at that level and therefore we have achieved one of the Millennium Development Goals, the, MD, the MDGs, Universal Primary Education, 
by uh, ensuring that uh, we have our nursery uh, pupils educated at that level. There are no proper roads. Uh, the governor uh, has decided to improve all road networks in the county. This one he has done by purchasing his own truck equipments like tractors, uh, all those equipment used in road construction. To make it easy now, we just do it by ourselves, no tendering. In terms of water, the governor has really increased water availability in almost all the county. Several bowls have been, uh, been dug. Extension of the water system in, in places where there is uh, the there was water as we done in Normandy. We found there there was no water. Now there is a continuous supply of water. Education. He has employed almost 1,000 ECD teachers in the county. In terms of industry, the means of industry, he bought all the solar lamps you are seeing around. Some are just even in the villages which use solar. You can find the streets, there are a lot of, the lights are all over. This one has minimized insecurity. Uh, if you go to the Ministry of uh, Water, Roads and Agriculture, they give them uh, uh, give them several equipments and machines which have aided them in increasing agricultural productivity in the county. In Omambi, uh, we have a consultative system which we have developed between the county assembly and the executive. We have a committee called Liaison Committee. This is a committee comprising of chairpersons of both select and sectoral committees. Whenever we have an issue that needs to be sorted out by the executive, I would mandate my committee, the, that, that committee, to meet the executive headed by his excellency, the governor, to thrash out to sort out, to consult on those issues that probably would bring it. Generally, if there is something that they propose to be done, which in our view, and which in the view, because our view is formed by the views of the public, the public is opposed to that. These are representatives of the public. So we have to be sensitive to the public and reject it until an acceptable issue is brought on board, which is acceptable to the public and acceptable to us. That's all, we have done it very smartly. We, we are not a rubber stamping government um, agency, we are not. We give a critique, a critique, analyze, and Whatever is good, we pass. Whatever is bad, we say. However, there has been great misconception on the part of oversight, with the majority of the public misunderstanding this mandate. The core functions of the assemblies are being misunderstood by the public. And I need to put the records very straight. Under Section 9 of the County Governments Act 2012, Members of the county assemblies are not allowed in law to directly or indirectly participate in the development activities of the county and those that are executed by the executive. Their core function is to oversight. You cannot participate in the execution and then you oversight. If while in the process of execution something goes wrong, when you are a key participant, then you find it difficult now to oversight what you participated that has gone wrong. So the law says that no, don't participate. You let them participate and you oversight. When something goes wrong, you now question and you bring it to be brought. The public tend to think that members should be participating in the development activities of the county government. No. Theirs is to oversight. They are the overseers. They go and see how those projects are being executed. They cannot interfere in the execution process. They are representative of the public. If the public think that what is being executed is wrong, 
or is not done according to the CIDP or according to the procurement or according to the plan, they raise it with my members to go and look at them and say no in a report. We say no to the way this thing is being done, it's not being done according to the law, it's not being done according to the financial procedures, according to the tender procedures, procurement procedures, according to the wishes of the people. Because before you come up with a project, that project must have been decided by the public. So the public want to see that it is done according to what they want. So members of the public mis mistake and tend to think that Honorable members of county assemblies do bring services. No. The core function of the executive is to render service. Us is to look at how service is being rendered. Is it sufficient? Is it adequate? To ensure efficiency in enhancing its service delivery and fulfilling its mandates, the County Assembly has assembled a staff with unique and varied qualifications to help in the achievement of its objectives. We go, we go to the department level and uh, it's the head of department that needs to tell us if there's need for them to, if they want somebody on board who can assist. So once we get the need, it has to be budgeted for. So once it's budgeted for, then uh, we do uh, we advertise, yeah, we advertise and uh, we, we give a few, a few months or a few weeks, yeah, uh, for the advertisements to come in, yeah, then we'll do, we'll do recruitment and we'll do interviews, yeah, then from there we'll be able to select. Normally this one is done with the help of uh, uh, the directors the board, the assembly board. So once that is done, the overall decision will be made with the assembly board, yeah, being that they are the ones heading the, the recruitment. When I came in, actually, there was no the HR department, so I had to start from scratch, yeah. So I decided to come up with a few policies here and there, so that at least I uh, would have something in place. And uh, Actually, when we were coming in in 2014, much of the recruitment was done then. So since the recruitment was done in 2014, we've not done any recruitment since then. But we've been bringing a few attaches on board, a few interns on board, just to assist us with the one, two, three at the organization level. And then we have uh, also casuals that assist us with our work. We had to engage a HR firm who did for us the interviews and the evaluation. Now, the law mandates us that at least 30% should come from outside the county. So 70% comes from the county and 30% should come from outside the county. That's what the law demands and we have to take into account minorities Yes, we First. consider the, the members who reside in Noma Bay County, but there are some other the other jobs which may, we might not get a person from Mania, maybe from Noma Bay County, so we can get, so we, we employ any person. Motivation being key to performance enhancement among staff, the Human Resource Department has greatly made strides towards getting the most out of its workforce. We do performance appraisal, then uh, we engage our employees in uh, stress management issues, yeah? And then also we do, uh, we do performance appraisals on a yearly basis. We sit down as uh, the directorate level, we come up with policies, and uh, also in terms of uh, doing appraisals for the employees, we come as head of departments and directorate level and then we are able to, to do appraisals for our employees before we decide on who is getting promoted and who is not getting promoted. We recognize them, those who are performing, we recognize uh, them, we give, we don't employ employees just who we are employing, we employ employees to do what they are trained to, that will motivate them to work. 
could turn them. <laughs> that develop. We increase their salaries. We do give them allowances. You will find uh, there's another thing we have also done here. But where you will come, you will not find another. Most assemblies. This is the assembly which has given both the staff and uh, uh, members a car loan. And all my staff are having vehicles. I'm having staff, I'm having a staff of 72. All the 72 staff, including a sweeper, is having a car. I'm giving a mortgage. I do give them a mortgage, which is in the budget, depending on your job, job scale. So that will motivate them to work hard. I, even if they work until very late, we have we provide all those essentials so we take them home even at night we pay them so the motivation among staff is very high you could even see when i call them for a meeting they're happy they have no big problem uh, they're just very happy and we motivate we motivate uh, we reward if you perform well we reward you and at the same time also doing performance appraisal every year to check whether they're meeting their goals uh, we are using a structure that was brought by Serem, and uh, Serem actually allowed the employees to, these are, we, we call them like fringe benefits, yeah, where a, an employee is given a loan to buy a vehicle and even to buy a house, yeah. So actually we sat down with our legal department and we drafted a policy on that, yeah. So. On the budget for last year that is ending this year, actually that was budgeted for. And uh, if you walked around, you've seen there are so many people around. So most of our employees have enjoyed the, the benefit of getting car loans. Yeah? We are in the process of, uh, like this year, because of the ceiling also that we are given for assemblies, we can't budget for mortgage and, and the car at the same time because of the money. Yeah? So we first decided let's do the car. Yeah? So once everyone has the opportunity to get that, then this financial year we can cater in the mortgage. So we are hopeful that this year we are going to cater in the mortgage and uh, most of our employees will be enjoying other staff employed at the assembly were competitively recruited to ensure their competencies suited the needs of the house in offering professional support to the members. Home of the county assembly employees are more attached to their work yeah and uh, they have that enthusiasm to make the county shine or the assembly shine so you'll find in terms of performance they do their best yeah we do a lot of uh, research and we also encourage them to go back to school so that they they go do uh, things that are related to the, uh, the departments where they are working with so they come up with new ideas so that the assembly the journey to establish a fully-fledged assembly is no easy task as it requires support from partners in building the capacity of staff and members through various trainings. We have to do capacity building. We have to train them so that they know their role. Whenever members are going for training somewhere, we have a number of staff that will accompany them. Uh, we have a staff training uh, benchmarking both nationally and internationally we have done. Uh, we have team building functions or activities to motivate them. They have their welfare, um, uh, I think the welfare organization that takes care of uh, that. We allow them. Uh, the board is mandated to take both the welfare of the members and the staff in terms of uh, we ensure that uh, they are adequately remunerated and uh, we look into in terms of their problems if there are problems we sort them out one by one and i believe those are the key areas that we motivate our staff uh, the law indicates very well that uh, a staff needs to be trained at least twice a year yeah so we normally adhere to trainings so mainly where we take our employees for training, we, we use Kenya School of Government, either in Mombasa, either in Nairobi, or in Baringo. Then we also work with the, the parliamentary uh, studies, because now the assemblies, we, we emulate the National Assembly. So they have a training, they have a training uh, uh, institution, 
where we take our employees there for training. The Assembly has also mirrored the national government's embrace of ICT services in streamlining businesses of the Assembly in order to ensure efficient service delivery to its electorate. This adopted technology in the day-to-day -day running of its affairs ensures professional and timely discharge of duties by both members of staff. Some of the things that we do in the Directorate of ICT and Research are to handle the recordings in the Assembly. We equally handle the library services for the Honobi County Assembly. We uh, similarly handle um, research services for the members uh, in uh, line of their duty. We handle um, ICT services uh, overally to the County Assembly. We are also handling communication services, uh, that is public relations and communication services. Uh, similarly, we handle uh, production services of documents and other items that might be needed in the assembly. We will soon be deploying automatic uh, parking systems that will go a long way in helping control uh, vehicles that are getting to the assembly and those that are leaving the assembly. We will soon be deploying body scanners. These are also going to help us in uh, enhancing security within the assembly. The achievements are many. We are the first assembly that uh, is fully going digital in terms of access control systems. We are the first assembly that uh, we were the first assembly to install CCTV cameras. Others, many others have followed us. Uh, as you can see from the background, We've seriously improved even the Hansard uh, capturing systems within the assembly. I will say that we are almost at par with the National Assembly. The assembly has state-of-the-art security enhancements that have been instituted to ensure the highest level of security both on the visitors, the staff and the members. Uh, one of the challenges that uh, is facing Kenya currently is in terms of security. We have enhanced security within the assembly and without the assembly. Uh, hence, we deployed the CCTV services to help in monitoring access within the assembly and without. All the happenings that are within the assembly are recorded for security purposes. That is why we installed CCTV systems in addition to other systems that we plan to deploy to enhance security not only of members but for all our staff members and equally our visitors. Uh, digital access systems is one of the uh, measures that we've employed to uh, enhance security within the assembly. Uh, as you noticed, uh, we have all, everyone who gets into the assembly has to be clear that they get. All members of staff have their identity cards uh, which they use to access the assembly. Equally, all the members of county assembly are also with their cards which they use to access the assembly. All visitors are given cards to help them access the assembly premises. In that way, we are ensuring that anyone who gets into the assembly is known and uh, no one gets into the assembly if he or she is not allowed to get into the assembly. The access control system equally helps us in monitoring who gets to which particular point within the assembly at any given time. Currently we have a fully functional server that uh, helps us in uh, security of, of our documents. We will soon deploy a document management system that will uh, make it very difficult for people to get our documents if they are not authorized to get the documents. These are some of the methods that uh, we are going to deploy alongside uh, the security that we've enhanced. A major step that the Assembly has taken in ensuring public participation is the provision of Assembly documents to the public through media such as websites and the Assembly Hansard, where information of interest for a specific group can be acquired. We have a uh, we have a website that helps in dissemination of information. We equally have public participation forums where we exchange with the public on matters that are going on within the assembly. In this manner, our stakeholders are fully involved in the process, in all the processes that go on within the assembly. Similarly, we are in the process of acquiring spectrum for radio services whereby we are going to have a community radio very soon 
so that uh, we'll, so that uh, we have uh, a way of disseminating information to everyone, all our stakeholders at home. This information is collected and stored by a very able and state-of-the-art Hansard department. The equipment such as the mixer, the Congress system unit, and the camera aid in covering the live proceedings of the assembly and the committee settings. The Department of Hansard is one of the integral department of the County Assembly of Mama Bay. This is the department that handles a lot of the assembly services in terms of coverage of the assembly proceedings as well as the committee services of the members. Here we have the plenary and we have the committee sittings. We have the machines like mixture, we have amplifier, we have equalizer, we have a computer and the congress system unit which is one of the best. It is just like the one in the National Assembly. So we have even the these machines which are here can also allow the members to vote. They have the voting cards and the voting system is already installed. We also have the camera that is doing live video coverage when the session is on. It is installed with the computer with the TVs mounted on the on the walls of the assembly. After recording all the assembly proceedings, we do what we refer to as segmentation. We segment to each and every answered staff to start for transcription. You know, after recording, we have to save, after which we segment to each and every staff to transcribe. Because we have to, we've not gone so much digital, we have just to do transcription by typesetting. After which we do proofreading, proofreading, we take them to assistant answered editors to go through them, to do some fine tuning. Then the last person that they are referred to is the answered editor, is the one that do the final editing and authenticate. And we, uh, we edit sound and we edit the transcript. It is important to edit what we are having to make it flow when one hears it or when it is taken to some to the consumers, those who need it. Because we don't want a situation where it, it doesn't flow, members doesn't get, things are jumbled, we have to edit it and make it uh, something comprehensive and something which is readable and listenable. Uh, we are the, we are supposed to give it to to ICT department to publish it in our website. We have the assembly website, so members of the public can read it and members of the county assembly can. The assembly has its fair share of challenges that impact on its service delivery. However, Hobo Bay County Assembly sees a challenge as an opportunity to overcome. Um, there are so many numerous challenges. In fact, uh, it needs our own day interview. First and foremost is that devolution still has enemies. This is general. Whatever challenges that devolution is facing in Kenya is also facing us. We have challenges with regard to funding. The fundings of county assemblies are now being restricted by the commission called Commission for Revenue Allocation, CRA. Uh, they want to limit the expenditure of the assembly. And in terms of our role, if you have a limited financing, then you cannot achieve what you want to do. Number two, capacity is lacking. The national government has, is supposed to uh, capacity build the county government. So we do it out of some limited funds that we have. Um, number two, we have members are also bringing challenges because this is a new system. Uh, transition authority before their time expired had not developed standards that are applicable in all the counties. And therefore, 
county assemblies are left to find their own ways through the statute books, through the acts of parliament, to, do, to, to, to look at how to do certain things. And we find it a challenge in that the interpretation that Omabe would give for a practice is not, is not the same as what we be normal, I mean Migori for that matter. So lack of standards is affecting us. We need to put in mind that this is a political environment and there's so much of politics here and there. And uh, as a politician, he would want to, to bring his name to the people. So he'll want to bring more people on board to be to be employed here so that he goes back and say, you see, I've recruited this and these people and now they're they are working. So we find we find a lot of challenges in terms of people who we take even for casuals. They come in and uh, when you don't give them that opportunity, they feel that you're denying them. So it's such a challenge when it comes to that. Then secondly, change. People fear change, yeah? Uh, when we were coming in, there was not this clocking in and clocking out, and somebody would come any time that he feels like. So with that, that has come, people feel that now their rights are being infringed, you know, and their freedom is now not there, and we have to monitor them like school children, which is not the case, because uh, we feel that uh, we are grown-ups, and uh, we need to be in a society where you, you are responsible of what you do, yeah? And uh, being that somebody applied for a job and you got it, you need to take that job as yours. You need to take that responsibility. Yeah, so changes are here, here and there. Everything that uh, other people will decide to call challenges, we call opportunity. Three years down the line, the Homobi County Assembly has clearly achieved its milestones and is still aiming higher. It is evident that its vision to be a modern county assembly that offers excellence in service and leadership for the people of Homobi County is steadily being realized. First, we want a very robust assembly. We want an assembly that um, um, enacts very elaborate and, uh, laws that would uh, impact on the lives of the Homobi County Assembly. We want to be one of the best assemblies in Kenya in terms of legislative agenda. Uh, the debate and the general understanding of the standing orders. We hope that uh, when we, we are, I mean, the research is done, we should be one of the best assemblies in Kenya. We want an assembly that um, is very sensitive to the people of Oma Bay. We were putting so many things in place to ensure that access to information by the public is fully achieved. Uh, we, our doors are open, members of the public do come in and um, we render services that they need. And we hope to be an assembly that takes care of the welfare of the citizens of Roma in terms of access to information, in terms of service delivery, because our oversight role is geared towards ensuring that the executive delivers adequate, sufficient service to the people. That is our main plan, that it should be a very effective assembly. You can see by yourself, it's going to be compared by the parliament or the senate. But after five years, we will check our strategic plan. We will be the best among the county assemblies in Kenya. In terms of technology, in terms of the staff we have, in terms of the bills, quality of bills which will be produced by members. In, in fact, in terms uh, of public participation, the way we'll be involving the the community around Omabe County people will be good. When we came in, actually we had no structures. And uh, even the buildings, right now we have so much improved. Yeah? We didn't have offices. Now you go in, everyone has an office. And we are still developing in terms of infrastructure. Yeah? And uh, we are hopeful that by 2018, 2017, 2018, 
things will have gone above what we are expecting. Because uh, right now, again, in terms of technology, we are really advanced. Yeah, uh, we, we we are trying to to curb employees by we've put a lot of technologies in. Like now, we have the clocking in and clocking out system. So we need to know what time are you coming in, what time are you going for lunch, what time are you going out. Yeah. So those are things that we are putting in place, and uh, we are hopeful that the counter assembly is going to progress as well. Uh, the assembly setup within the country is a new system of governance uh, but I, with the help of uh, our stakeholders that is the county assembly service board with the help of the, uh, the clerk we've been able to move within three months uh, we've made very many strides uh, we can say that uh, we are almost at par with the National Assembly in terms of infrastructure, in terms of, uh, for example, if you look at our security measures, these security measures can only can be compared to the National Assembly. Our hands-on capturing systems can only be compared to the National Assembly. We engage our stakeholders in all spheres of our business. We uh, give our stakeholders information in time, they participate in time, we handle our stakeholders courteously. Uh, as you have seen, we have, uh, there are very many good things that have happened in Homer Bay County. If it were not for the Homer Bay County Assembly, many of these things would not, would not have uh, happened. But because uh, our members do their res perform their responsibility of oversight properly, properly, we've been able to move as a county. Equally, similarly, we have uh, many bills that have been passed. We have many motions. Uh, we have uh, many notices. These things have happened because we have a very functional assembly. Uh, I must also mention that we have very competent staff. Uh, which is the cornerstone of this assembly.